Mr. Henderson? Here. Mr. Patricelli? I did see him here. Mr. Gallarducci? Here. Mr. Colosimo? Here. Mr. Verducci? Here. Mrs. Schneider? Here. Mr. Shashalski? Here. Mayor Copeland? I saw her as well. Solicitor McDermott? Here. Engineer Brett? Here. Chief King? Here. I'm Joe Cower. Chief Costain or Assistant Chief Maglin? I think I saw one of them. And then Director Miller? Here. Okay. Thank you, Joe. Uh, do we have any visitors in the uh, in the room that care to speak? Any visitors that care to address council? Did anybody sign up to speak, um, Joe? No, Mr. Henderson. Okay, going once. Going twice. Let's move on with the regular order of business here. I need a motion to approve the January 11th, 2021 regular meeting minutes as submitted. So moved. I second it. All in favor? Aye. Uh, Aye. Opposed? The motion passes. I need a motion to approve the February 2021 bill list. I'll move. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? That motion passes. I need a motion to approve the February 12th, 19th, 26th, and March 5th, 2021 payrolls. So moved. So moved. You know, Bruce on a motion. Do I have a second? I think you go. We want to pay the guys. Come on. I'll move. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? That motion passes. I need a motion to ratify the purchase of a 2021 Ford F-350 service body truck from Laurel Auto Group at the Shaycog Purchasing Alliance bid of $43,350. So moved. Second. Second it. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Bill, Aye. I'm sorry, I have a question for Joe. Go ahead. Joe, with the, the invoice of the 40, Grand, um, and then the, the extra 3000 was that just the upgrades or things putting on it? No, the 3000 is the extended uh, warranty on the oh, truck. Okay, I didn't see that. Thank you. Any other questions? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? That motion passes. I need a motion to promote Gregory Allot to the position of Assistant Public Works Foreman for the terms of the Public Works Employees Collective Bargaining Agreement effective February 13th, 2021. So moved. Cool. I don't know got that in first, but I heard Joe Colosimo. Do we have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? That motion passes. Yes. Okay. Sorry, someone have a question there? No, it's good. Uh, I need a motion to offer employment to Michael Megalin as a public works laborer contingent to the successfully passing pre-employment background investigation, drug test, and physical examination. So moved. Second. Any comments? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? That motion passes. I need a motion to schedule and authorize advertisement of a public hearing on Monday, March 8th, 2021, 6.30 p.m. held virtually on Zoom for a conditional use application received the property at 621 McLaughlin Run Road. Bruce, so moved. I'll second. A second by Joe. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? That motion passes. There's plenty of information in your packet about that one there. Uh, I need a motion to approve the commercial street plan of lot subdivision as recommended by the Bridgeville Planning Commission. Contingent, the applicant complete and secure approval from the Pennsylvania Department of Environmental Protection of a sewage planning module. Note the plan will subdivide parcel 255-G-255 
368 Commercial Street into two independent lots and the application has been reviewed and recommended for approval by the borough engineer. Joe, do you have any idea what they're going to do with that or their reasoning? They haven't stated that to us, no. Okay. Bruce, so moved. Do I have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? That motion passes. I need a motion to authorize the engineer to prepare construction specifications and advertise for bids for the 2021 road program as recommended by the road committee. So moved. Second, BJ. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? The motion passes. I need a motion to adopt resolution number 2021-1, a resolution of the borough of Bridgeville adopting and enacting policy identified as the Bridgeville Borough Non-Uniform Employee Handbook. So moved, BJ. Do I have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? That motion passes. I need a motion to adopt resolution number 2021-2, a resolution of the Borough of Bridgeville, County of Allegheny, Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, establishing fees for the filing of applications, permits, and licenses for the borough. Note that the fee amendment creates a $5 duplicate tax fee or tax bill fee. I'll move. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? That motion passes. I need a motion to adopt resolution number 2021-3, a resolution of the Borough of Bridgeville, County of Allegheny, Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, authorizing filing a grant application seeking a community infrastructure tourism funding grant for the Chartier's Park Exercise Trail Project. I'll move. I'll second. second. Third. Joe, Joe, Joe Colosimo. <laughs> Joe Colosimo. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? A motion passes. I need a motion to approve change order number four for the McLaughlin Run Park Improvements Project that authorizes the contract completion date be extended by 171 day calendar days to accommodate delays as a result of winter weather conditions. Bruce, so moved. Do I have a second? I'll second it. All in favor? I'll be Aye. 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 Opposed? That motion passes. I need a motion to approve change order number one for the Bower Hill Road stormwater improvements project that resulted in a contract increase of $5,480.07 to remove and realign 24 linear feet of storm sewer due to a conflict and adjusting the existing manhole two feet to grade. So moved. Bruce, second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? The motion passes. I need a motion to approve change order number one for the McLaughlin Run Park flood project that authorizes the contract completion date be extended by 124 calendar days to accommodate delays as a result of winter uh, weather conditions. So moved. I'll second it, Bill. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? The motion passes. I need a motion to authorize AGX Incorporated to complete an environmental assessment of the municipal building roof replacement project at a cost not to exceed $950. So um, sorry. Hey, Joe, what was the reason? I'm sorry, ahead, Joe. Joe, what was the reason we had to get an environmental assessment on it? This is being requested by the engineers, so maybe Kevin could jump in. Yeah, whenever you do the roof replacements, uh, since this is Allegheny County, if there's any asbestos uh, containing materials in the uh, roof, and what we find is for years and years and years, you could get asbestos cement um, for patching roofs. Um, those areas need to be contained and removed separately. Um, so we don't have a change order during the uh, construction. Uh, we always get a report done up front. Um, yeah, that makes sense. So thank you. Um, did we vote on that? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? That motion passes. Okay. Need a motion to adopt job descriptions for the following positions. Assistant to the borough manager, office clerk, police secretary, public works foreman, public works assistant foreman, and public works laborer. So moved, Bill. BJ. Do I have a second? 
Second. I'll move. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? That motion passes. Under comments, uh, there's been a lot of work that has gone into this. We've been talking about this for a couple of years now and uh, appreciate all the work that, that Joe has done and Cheryl has done and the administration committee. There's been a lot of work. And so finally, we're, we're getting there. Um, I need a motion to authorize a solicitor to prepare an ordinance and advertise such that would amend chapter one, part three, article A, section 301 of the Planning Commission of the Bridgeville Borough Code that would reduce the composition of the Planning Commission from seven members to five members. So moved. Second. I'll have a second. Joe Colosmo second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? That motion passes. Nick, uh, we you gonna take over 19? 19? Did, I was, uh, did you talk with Nino? Yeah, the vacancy board? Yeah. Yeah, I just wanna make sure I'm reading it properly. <laughs> a motion to appoint Deborah Colosimo as the vacancy board chairman to a term that would expire January 3rd, 2022. I would like to make a motion. I'll second that. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? That motion carries. I'm assuming, Joe, you abstain? I could. <laughs> I don't have to, but I could. Oh, you don't have to? Okay. All right. I, I just There's was. There's uh... no financial considerations as far as I'm, what I know about these things. But, uh, okay. Yeah, I, All right. That's fine. Okay, uh, I need a motion to accept and pay any commission due January 2020 real estate tax collector report. Bruce, I'll, I'll, move. Move. I'll second. Joe, second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? That motion passes. I need a motion to acknowledge receipt of the December 2020 treasurer's report. I'll move. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion passes. I need a motion to accept the January 2021 police report. Bruce, so moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion passes. Did we, did we miss one there? Did I get the tax collector report? Yeah, I got that. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, on the committee reports, uh, administration, BJ. Um, thank you, Bill. Um, just to update you on the phone system, the project has been completed. They, uh, the service is up and running, and there are new features to the voicemail. So for the residents listening in, they want to notice that the extension numbers have changed for the various offices. Um, so they need to listen to the prompts to get to the right department. Um, as everybody I'm sure is aware, the LED message board, the Borough Building Community Message Board is up and running as well. Um, there's a few little things that need to be taken care of, but um, hopefully everybody will be up to date on what's going on. It's just another attempt to keep everybody, uh, to communicate to everybody um, in, the, in the community. Uh, there's also a smart TV that's been placed in the lobby of the Borough Building that runs on a continuous loop of uh, different community programs and events that are happening um, around town. And last but not least, in addition to our attempts to improve the communication throughout the borough, uh, the 2021 newsletter, I'm excited to say, and should be mailed out by February 15th. Uh, there will be extra copies in the office, so in case anybody misses theirs or doesn't get it in the mail, they can get it from the borough building. And um, there will be a digital copy, copy on the borough website and the new resident packets will include um, this newsletter for anybody that's you know moving into the community. So thanks again, Joe, the office for all their hard work along with the uh, personnel handbook. They've really been busy and things look great. Thank you again. That's all I agree, I BJ. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, finance, Joe Reducey. Thanks, Bill. Uh, as of uh, late last week, the audit is underway for this coming year. So it'll be nice to 
have that done and out of the way uh, towards the beginning of this year. Uh, as far as finance reports are completed and distributed, including all of the employee uh, W-2s, 1099s, and the annual state reports that need to be submitted. It's a great job by, by uh, the admin staff and Joe. Uh, as far as insurance claims, we've had to file a couple insurance claims, unfortunately. Um, there was a humongous tree that fell down in Chartier's Park and took out um, one of the light poles or, or the electrical wiring and then uh, damaged the fence. So that estimation was about $6,000 worth of improvement. So uh, we hope that with the weather, if it improves, we'll have that done by the end of March. Uh, and then one of, this happens, I swear, almost once a year, uh, uh, a car struck one of the uh, ornamental streetlight poles. Uh, damage was over $7,000 and we're uh, seeking insurance uh, company from the motorist uh, to uh, reimburse that one. Um, looking at the bills list, uh, we've had a lot of snow. So that salt bill is really, really uh, heavy uh, the last couple of months and in January is definitely uh, was bad as well. Uh, we also had uh, the annual insurance bill that we had to pay out, which is a hefty one. And last but not least, Joe Colosimo, I'll save the thunder, but we, uh, we had to pay a uh, uh, a bill for a certain thing. I'm sure you would love to announce uh, that that something you and I have worked on for years uh, down at Chartier's Park. Uh, that's all I have to say. Thank you. Okay, get ready for that salt bill to go up a little more tonight. <laughs> yeah. Yes, we. Uh, Parks and Recreation, Joe Colosimo. Okay, I just have a couple small things here. Uh, Department of Public Works. Uh, installed a, a storage bin for infield down at uh, Chartier's Park. So it's back out of the way now. And we got word from the uh, Legion that right now the Memorial Day Parade is going to be on for May 31st at 10 a.m., hopefully, tentatively. And what Joe was, Renucci was referring to is that the, uh, the cameras are working down the park. I was sort of hemming and hot about whether we should have really make this really public. Maybe oh, so I ruined that. Sorry about that. That's all right. I don't know. But they are up and running. And from what I understand, the police department wants us to uh, install a couple more cameras down there to really make it secure. So I'm uh, glad of that. I'm glad it finally came through after about 10 years. That's all. Thank you, Joe. I agree. Um, We've been waiting for those those cameras down there for a while, and hopefully it it uh, is a deterrent. So, uh, public safety, Bruce Gallarducci. Uh, I'm sorry, okay. let me back up. Is Nino is Nino on? I talked to him before. He he's not here. I got his report here. If you'd like, I can give it. Yeah, go ahead if you want to give the public works report, uh, Joe. Yeah, it's pretty much. Uh, like uh, Joe Verducci said about the salt, we've ordered 353 tons of salt and received them this past month. So that is an awful lot of salt. Um, they've got the routine work they've been doing, salting the streets, equipment man maintenance. Uh, there was a small sinkhole on Dewey Avenue they repaired. Uh, the basic stuff they've been doing. A uh, couple other things I noticed from Joe Cowher here at the Public Works. The Bar Hill Road, the county bridge down there is up for replacement. They were finally going to replace <laughs> it, but it's going to take five years. So five years down the road, there's supposed to be a new bridge. And the McLaughlin Run Bridge near the park, that's going to be done in 2023. So that's all for Nina. Thanks, Joe. Okay. Uh, Public safety, Bruce Gallarducci. I don't have anything, Mr. President. Thanks, Bruce. Uh, Mayor Betty Copeland. I don't have anything either, Mr. President. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, Police Chief Chad King. Chief, you on? Sorry about that, I was muted. Okay, gotcha. All right. Um, we've been monitoring the no parking area on McMillan Street. Uh, to date, we've issued about six written warnings. 
also gave several verbal warnings as, as several times we pulled up and encountered people in their cars. I noticed the past couple of days, the, the space has been 100% clear. So uh, hopefully people get the message here and, and we can move on with that. Um, as far as the light pole that Joe Verducci was referencing, that was part of a, a double hit and run. We had a driver strike a car and that light pole fled the scene, but uh, we were able to locate them at their house in South Fayette and, uh, and uh, we handled it from there. So hopefully their insurance will cover everything. Uh, touching on the, the camera situation, uh, not only do I anticipate the cameras in the parks, to uh, hopefully be more of a crime preventative tool rather than something we have to use, but at least we know they're there if we need them. Um, this week alone, just the cameras we have all around town have helped us with two or three cases alone. Um, uh, it's, it's, it's nice to have that ability to be able to assist us in investigations. And in fact, the cameras, the, the traffic cameras that we have assisted us on the the previously mentioned incident where the pole was taken out. Um, we had a hit and run last night in lot two that the cameras helped us solve that one. Um, I, can, I can go on and on. So I, I know we're grateful for the cameras that have been put throughout the borough. Is it, Chief? That's it. Okay, thank you, sir. Appreciate that. Uh, let's see, solicitor Tom McDermott. Uh, thank you, Mr. President and Council and Mrs. Mayor. Um, you have uh, my written report. I don't have anything to add to that other than to uh, echo uh, BJ's um, congratulations and job well done to everybody, including BJ and the committee and the staff on the uh, personnel manual. Thanks, Tom. Yeah, thank you, Tom. Is that it, Tom? Uh, yes, unless anybody has any questions, and of course, Please go to call me, anybody that does, if you have any afterwards. Okay, Borough Engineer Kevin Brent. Uh, we did submit our report dated February 4th, and I can address any questions uh, on the report. Any questions for the engineer? Hey, Kev, it's Bruce. I, yep. I heard they were planting grass seed at the park. Um, today at the ball field on McLaughlin. <laughs> oh, okay. It's a customer come in and said it's covered in straw. Yeah, they uh, they they have to temporarily seed it um, and put straw down uh, because of the conservation district. So they may have got a, a notice. I'm not sure because um, conservation district occasionally reminds everybody, even though it makes no sense that they got to take and put straw down. So um, they may have done that because they, they had put straw down before a little bit, but um, I'm sure it's all gone by now with the wind and everything. So, so you may see that again. Okay. So. Any other questions for the engineer? Okay, Fire Chief Ray Costain. You out there, Ray? Let's see. Can you hear me now? There you go. Hi, right, sorry about that. Uh, month of January was rather busy. Uh, on the fire side, we had five working fires, um, numerous other calls for a total call volume of 27 calls uh, in the month of January. Um, I've also set up a meeting with um, the residents of Goodwill Manor and Goodwill Villas uh, just to go over some fire safety tips, also address any concerns that they have, <coughs> such as the, the um, parking uh, situation there um, that is scheduled for 11 a.m. and 12 uh, and 2 p.m. on the 18th of this month. Um, it's fish fry time again. This year we are going to add an Ash Wednesday fish fry. Uh, so we will have the fish fries on Ash Wednesday on um, the 17th, which is that following or that same Friday. Then again, uh, March 5th, March 19th, and April 2nd will be our last fish fry. And unfortunately, due to COVID, uh, we have already taken the steps to cancel the cash bash again this year. So we do hope and pray that we're able to bring that back in 2022. That is all. Thanks, Chief. Thank uh, Southbridge EMS, Dan Miller. Uh, nothing to report. Okay, staying safe out there. Hopefully. I have a question for Ray. Yes, sir. The fish fry, is that drive through or is that can you'll have it in house too? Yeah, I do apologize. I should have mentioned that. Um, 
we are doing a strictly a drive through business uh, just to keep everybody safe. If, if things were to change, you know, later on uh, during the Lenten season, we may address it at that point, and make some necessary changes and, and allow some um, on site. But as of right now, um, we're, we're going to keep a drive through only. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, uh, anybody on from the Historical so Society or does anyone have a report for Mary? No, how about the uh, Bridgeville Library? Any representative of the library? Yeah, this is Ben Hornfeck, library director. Um, hey I did. I submitted a written report this month. Um, I'm happy to answer any questions about that, but just wanted to highlight that um, the library is, as of this morning, back open again to in-person services. Um, we've been doing strictly curbside services uh, since the beginning of December. It's been going extremely well, all things considered, um, and we managed to circulate just over 5,000 items in January, but we are excited to be back open. Um, safety protocol is still in place, of course, um, but you can come in now to browse and use the computer. Um, <laughs> so we're excited about that. And if there's any questions about the written report, as I said, I'd be happy to answer. Hey, hey Ben, in your report, you had uh, said that the Rotary was going to be a potential partner. Uh, we yes. had a board meeting last week and, and we will be a partner in installing them as well as once we figure out how we're gonna do our fundraisers this year, we're gonna be a financial partner as well. Excellent. Thank you so much, Joe. I'll, I'll definitely report back to the library board as well next week. We're excited. I think that'll be a really nice program. And the Eagle Scouts want to uh, maybe be involved as well in some type of beautification of it, too. So Excellent. There, there's Thank all you. kinds of different groups that want to be involved. Yeah, it's a great project. I put the overview in the report, and hopefully I'll provide more details and pictures and stuff as we finish figure out the details. Okay, thanks, Ben. I appreciate it. Any, any more questions for Ben? Okay. Uh, anybody from the Parking Authority on board here tonight? I didn't see anybody recognized. Uh, how about the Planning Commission? Justine's here. Hi, Justine. Hi. All right. Well, basically, um, we talked about the Commercial Street subdivision and approved it. We also talked about 621 McLaughlin Run Road and the request to uh, load ammunition, reload ammunition. There were quite a few questions about how everything was accomplished and the circumstances under which it would occur. So it was decided to table the project of until next month. Um, we also talked after a uh, discussion with Joe Cower about um, the RFPs that were received for the comprehensive plan for that it will be coming up. So that's on our schedule for next month. And then we also talked about things that had been left over from the comprehensive plan, small projects that we want to take another look at and determine how we can process or how we can move forward on some of those things. And that's about it. Um, okay, any questions for Justine? I'm yeah, sorry. real quick, Bill. Yeah. Uh, Mike Tomer here. Justine left out the one part that she was elected our new president of the planning commission. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank, thank, Justine. thank you, Mike. <laughs> yeah, thank, thank you, Justine. For uh, being our president and thank Bill Livingston for being our past president for all this service. Yeah. And thank you for being secretary. Oh, I, think, I, I think it was, I didn't have a choice, I don't think. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure if that was a, a vote that <laughs> night or a process of default. <laughs> it, was, it was last man standing. <laughs> we, we appreciate what you guys are doing. Uh, we feel great about the, the, the board, the, the board makeup and, and what you guys are accomplishing. So. Thank you all for um, what you're what you're doing. Thank you, uh, Borough Manager Joe Cower. Uh, thanks, Mr. Henderson. I'm happy to report that to the Council of Governments, our grant application to replace catch basins on Station Street and Darby Way has been awarded the amount of twenty three thousand. Also, the two GEDF flood grant projects at both McLaughlin Run Park and Jane Way right now are currently forty four thousand dollars under the total grant award of four hundred twenty five thousand dollars. 
A request has been made to the county to use the remaining $44,000 uh, of those grant funds to make repairs to the asphalt McLaughlin Run Park that was damaged by the excavation equipment. They've approved this request. The engineer is currently working on a strategy to how to best use those grant funds. Uh, I thank the members of the Public Works Committee and those who applied and interviewed for the laborer's position. I look forward to welcoming Mr. Maglin to our team. As Justine was just stating, the comprehensive plan project, six proposals have been received. We'll be distributing those proposals to the Planning Commission and Committee this week to start the selection process. While this is going on, we'll be submitting a grant application to the state to consider funding the planning project as well. If there's any questions on my report, I'd be happy to answer them and uh, thank you again. Thank you, Joe. Appreciate it. As always, a nice, uh, nice, busy report. So appreciate what you're doing. Uh, under old business, real quick, I just want to mention uh, and state that we had an executive session on Thursday, February 4th, to obtain the solicitor's uh, advice reference to some miscellaneous personal and legal matters. Uh, do we have anything else under old business? Up and under new business. Uh, just one thing, the, uh, the different um, state senators and uh, representatives are having a chamber uh, discussion uh, via um, Zoom uh, on Thursday that seems to be very, very informative. Uh, they've been doing a lot of work, and I think uh, Mandy has uh, uh, put aside two hours for, for the meeting. So uh, it's, it's by Zoom. I, I have a feeling it's going to be pretty well informative. So. You have the ability, it's from 11 to one, um, but uh, uh, looking forward to uh, yet again, the chamber bringing something to our, our region that to help us uh, be uh, informative of a lot of different things. Thanks, Joe. Uh, anything else under new business? Nope, with that, I'll motion take a motion adjourn. to adjourn. So moved. Do I have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passes. Thank you, everybody. Appreciate what you're doing.